Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is a requested tutorial um, on how I made this um, winter hat shaker. Um, it's not called a shaker, but I made it a shaker. Um, and so a couple had asked for a tutorial on how I made this cute little shaker card. It's not a card, it's just actually just a piece of ephemera right now. I haven't made it into anything. It's just the, um, the hat itself. So let's get started and I will show you how to do it. First off, um, this die is from Scrap Diva Designs. I'm on her design team and so this is one of my projects I'm making. So there's the website where you can go check everything out. This is all of her social media and here's the hashtag to follow along. Hashtag, hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for tons of inspiration on there. All right, so this is what we're gonna make today. And um, hopefully I do it good, hopefully I can do fast enough <laughs> so it doesn't take too long. Okay, so let me set this aside. And first off, I'll show you what I did. Okay, so first off, we're going to take this um, base piece, okay. And I cut my this pattern paper. This is going to be my background um, on this. The a plain paper is going to be on the on the front. So anyway, this is the piece I cut for here. Okay, and then I cut the. This is just the hat portion right here that goes over right here. So this is a layering piece. It's stitched. So this is what I cut this out of. Okay, now I also, um, to make it a shaker, I also cut the same thing out of foam. Okay, so these will layer up. Okay, and then I also used this, this piece without cutting out the design and cut my acetate. Okay, I used this piece right here to make my first piece of the rim of the hat and then there's also the stitch layering piece which I cut out of this so that will layer up on top of there oops there we go okay so now you also get <clears throat> this piece right here okay so this is what I made how I made this okay so what I did was I cut the hat out of this piece okay um, you can't do it at the same time. I was going to do it at the same time, but it won't fit because um, of how I placed my. If I would have went down below, I could have fit it in, but I didn't want it to be covered up by the rim of the hat. And so, in order to get it up as high as I wanted it, um, you know, it will hit cut the other. It will hit the other die when you run it through. So I ran it through first and did it plain, and then I put this where I wanted it and I kind of um, washi taped it in place so it wouldn't move. So then I cut this out. And then I did the same thing with this, with the, with the um, foam or poster board from Dollar Tree. So then same thing, I cut it out with this piece, just plain, okay? And then I lined this up. And how I did it was I kind of just, um, I lined it up on here where it looked like it was gonna line up. And then I kind of put my other piece over here <laughs> to make sure I had them both layered up the right way. I started to put them together. In fact, I did run it through together the first time, but because of the depth of the one, it really made an impression around like where the square outline piece is. It really cut that into the uh, paper, so I not cut it, but it, you know made the impression in it. W being this was more of a plain paper right here, it really showed, and so I kind of just lined it up the best I could, layering it over, and then I just, you know, pulled the other piece out and then ran it through, you know, taped it. Okay, so that's how I did those. Okay, it also comes with this piece right here. It's all one piece. And you, it's got the stitched heart and the other, the open heart with a little, another little heart cut out. It has this pom-pom to layer up on top of here. 
and it has this pom-pom, same thing, but Aksha has a heart cut out of it. Okay, and then there's some other little hearts you can use. Okay, and then there is also this piece that comes with it. This cuts out these three little trees and these two little, uh, you know, like arrow type things. Okay, these are meant more to, um, I mean, you could inlay it, but um, I use these to put on top rather than inlay. And what's nice about this one is you not only get this cut out, but this, all these stitching that it impresses in the paper also. So if you look closely, you can see the stitching all around the star and then around the arrows. Isn't that pretty? Love that. Okay, so let me go ahead and start putting this together. So first up, because I need it to dry quickly, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, shaker pieces going. So I'm just going to outline my acetate piece. Just go along the very edge with glue. Whoa, I looked in the camera and went all off balance. <laughs> Let's get that out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna take that piece and I'm gonna put this pattern paper that's cut out on top of there. I'm gonna go ahead and layer that up. Okay, I'm gonna get it all lined up. I have it all lined up right okay and then I'm gonna put my <laughs> my glass block my acrylic block that I use that's for stamping I always use that to make my things um, glue more evenly and then the pieces come out nice and flat and not all ripply okay all right so next thing I'm gonna do is take this piece my base piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue my um, um, you know, my, my foam piece onto here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tr uh, go ahead and put some glue on this piece. And I'm going to go ahead and glue all the way up to here because I'm going to have this be, there's just going to be, um, shakers in these little cutout pieces. Okay, there's not going to be shakers throughout this whole hat part. Make sure I got that all good. Okay, so now I'm going to take it and I'm going to um, layer it right up here so it has like a little bit of a border. So I'll make sure I have that showing and kind of line it up which is nice about the wet glue it gives you a little bit of room to maneuver things a little bit okay all right now i'm going to go ahead and i'm just going to stack this here even though it's not ready because i want those both to be getting glued down okay now i'm going to take this piece which is going to be my layering piece for right here let's see did i oh no i have it this way so this is going to go like, oh, I had the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the blue is going to go first, and then the layering piece with the stitching is going to go right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Okay, so I'm going to fix that right there. Right there. Now you could pop this up on foam or one of the layers up on foam. And actually, I did that, but on this other one, but I forgot to cut it up. So um, I couldn't. I'll just use little squares instead of the one solid piece, I guess. So I can. I want to make it look pretty much exactly like the other one. Okay. So while that's still sitting, I'm going to go ahead and add on these let's go ahead and glue these things little these little things down so these are my little um pieces and i actually cut out the wrong ones i should have had these so um uh, what should i do i guess i won't be at i guess i won't add those let's hang on let me get a piece of paper and i'll bring it over here to cut it out <clears throat>
it's funny um i got a a new iphone it's the i think it's the 14. um i had an android before and um I went back to the ipad i mean the iphone and it's weird because it doesn't when you do a video it doesn't let you pause so that's kind of sucky <laughs> so I can't like pause it so I have to like say hey wait a minute um, apparently there's some software you can get or you know like an app or something to use but I tried a couple and they didn't weren't working so well so still trying to figure out a way to um, get it so I can pause my videos okay so these are what those look like cut out so I'm going to run it through twice because I need four of those. I'm not using the trees, but those trees would make a cute little um, uh, shaker bits to put in a, with your shaker. Line this up again. Put this in here. And I'm just putting those one pieces that I need on the paper. My um, regular cutting machine, which is this uh, Sizzix Big Shot Plus, it's the big one. It's over on another uh, work area because it's you know how much space it takes up. I use it all the time, but I still gotta you know leave my desk and walk around to the other desk to um, use it. So that's why I keep this tiny little one right here so I can do small things. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on now, and then we will put together the shaker part. So let's see, let's go here. And you could do these up on foam too. I didn't on my other one, so I'm not going to on this one either, but it would be cute um, to have it um, layered up. put it up on foam. Okay. I got glue over my fingers so everything's sticking to me. Okay, this lines up here. And then this one here. So those two would go right there. Okay, now I'll put my pin back in my glue before it dries up. I mean, that's the only thing I have an issue with. Okay, all right, so I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to put this over here on the side. I'm going to set that on there to get that all nice and flat. Okay, so now I have my very top piece with my acetate behind. Okay, now I have my base piece right here with my layer of um, foam. So now what I'm gonna do, this is a tiny one, so you're gonna have to have tiny things to add in here, okay? Uh, seed beads will probably be too big, okay? You're gonna need, either need like glitter or I love these, I use these all the time. They're called micro beads. I've had these forever. Um, these are gold, and I have a whole set. I don't know if I've showed you guys this before. Let me show you real quick. It's kind of fun, but um, I have a whole set from way long time ago, and these are all micro beads, and there's all these different colors. And what it, it came as a set. Let's see, who is it by? Art Accents by Provo Craft. Yeah, really cool. So anyway, it had came with all these beads, and then it has like a, it came with also like a, um, a double-sided uh, sticky sheet, and you could die cut out whatever you want, whatever shape you wanted, and then add the beads to it. So fun. I think it also came with some already pre, uh, like some pre-made uh, die cuts to where you could just like peel it, you know, peel it right off after you put the stuff on. So fun, but anyway, that's, I don't know if you can still, where you can still find these, but these are from Recollections. This was a Provo Craft thing. Um, and I, I use these all the time because they make a fun little, 
addition and they sound cute too when they run around they can't they don't roll around very much in this one because of how small the space is but anyway so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just put a few micro beads in each of the spots so it doesn't take very many and then one thing about these micro <laughs> micro beads is they can be very staticky and they love to bounce around okay so you have to kind of keep it pretty still because they like to kind of bounce out pop out okay so once i get in there i'm going to try not to move it i think i got it all cleared so what i'm going to do so i poured my beads in there i would pick it up well, let me see if i can pick it up and show you without making them jump all over so see see how pretty that is okay so now i'm going to take this piece this is my top piece top layering piece with the acetate already on the back okay so i'm going to take this and put some glue around the edge and I'm going to go ahead and go up around these designs Ooh, also okay I'm going to carefully layer it on there line up my design okay and press it down okay now you don't want to shake it right now you want to just weight it down and let it sit there for a minute okay hang on it kind of shifted just a tad when i put the block on If you shake them right away, you're liable to get <laughs> the beads stuck in the glue or the foam. You know, like if you're using like a foam tape or whatever, they're likely to get stuck in there. Okay, so I have this piece ready. Now what I'm going to add this time is before I had this, uh, this greetings right here, I decided to use the word holidays for this one so this one I cut out the blue pattern paper background and then I cut out pink foam and layered it up on top this is also the scrap diva designs um, die set this is called Christmas cheer word set here's the big shadow piece and then here's all the little words down here it comes with the words presents Santa's helper happy holidays elf squad North Pole seasons greetings Christmas cheer so a lot of them pair up together but you can also use words separately. Like instead of holiday greetings, I use just greetings by itself. And instead of, um, and on here I'm using holidays by itself. And I could just use Christmas by itself rather than just, or Christmas cheer, you know, whatever. So you can use them separately too. Okay, and then I'm also going to use this poinsettia that I just made. And this is using Scrap Diva's poinsettia die. I love, 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 love this so much okay so i cut out one size of each of the of the sizes because you get yeah there's like six different sizes okay and i just layered them all up there's a centers too but i rarely use the centers i put those little gold balls in there okay so that we're going to add to it also just like this other one okay i'm going to pull this up carefully i'm not going to still not going to shake it but i'm going to go ahead for purposes of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and add this piece next. So since I didn't cut it out of foam, since I forgot that piece, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some, um, you know, foam squares. That way I can still give it some dimension. These are just Dollar Tree foam squares, which I get all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna peel those off and stick those on. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to put... Where'd my glue go? Here it is. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of glue on too, just because that gives me a little bit of wiggle room if you got a little bit of glue on there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and layer that right on that piece. There we go. Hopefully it's lined up good. Try not to tip it. It looks pretty good. Press down. Okay, on this other one I put these little snowflakes back there, but I don't think I'm going to do it on this one. I did pop this one up on foam when this one I hadn't. I was trying to give it more dimension. I think I'm going to go ahead and just use this like this. So let's go ahead and put some... Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put foam behind there too rather than those... rather than those um, snowflakes. behind here. Peel my little pieces off. Put a little bit of glue on it again. And I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. And there we go. Okay, it's looking good. Just gonna bounce that on top there. Okay, um, on this one, if you notice, I had this cute little pom pom there. I'm gonna add that here too, just a second. Oh, and let's go ahead and layer this piece up here. So this piece, again, this is this one I cut out. I cut it out of the paper, and then I cut it out of the foam. So let's go ahead and put some glue on here. And add the pattern paper up on top there. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. And then we'll glue it down. And just kind of right up here at the top. It leaves like a little, you know, space in between there, like that. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put this little pom-pom there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny little bit of hot glue for that instead of the, and then I'm just gonna push it down. That looks cute. Okay, and then on this one up here, I also put a one of these cute little um, like tool type pom-poms. The smaller one, I'm gonna put that up there on the top. So again, I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue. Just kind of put a little dab up there and then just let that kind of stick off up here. Okay, and then next we are ready for our flower. That's gonna go like right here. Okay, let's get a little piece of foam tape again. And We'll put that back here. Okay, and then I'm also going to put, see this already has a layer of foam right there, so I'm gonna double layer this so that it will raise it up past that first layer. Okay, so I just stuck them together to, and then I will put a little bit of glue here too. And then I'm going to add that about right here. Cover up a little bit of the word, but not all of it. I'm just going to attach it right there. Look how beautiful. There's my little seed beads in there. Or not seed beads, micro beads. But it would look pretty with some glitter in there too, okay? It's going to be your smallest things that are going to be able to fit inside that small space. Now what you could do too, if you don't want to do a shaker, um, these pieces that cut out, 
it would be really fun to like cut these pieces again out of a different color paper and then put them back in okay so you can like inlay them okay so it'd be really pretty if i you know turned it over put that in there if i didn't want to make a shaker look how pretty that would be and what you can do too is put this on and then if you so like if you were to attach that to the bottom layer and then still pop this layer that's all cut out up a foam it will like put this back inside there back down further which has a really cool look to it okay so that is simply how you make that okay um now this was is called the winter hat memory decks die set so if this is just the hat but if i want to make the memory make it into a memory decks this is the memory decks piece. All you do, cut a piece of the memory decks out, and then boom, I say, oh, I want to make a memory decks out of it instead. Boom, I just layer, I just glue that right to there, and now I have the memory decks hat. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so if you guys have any questions, um, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer. The best that I can. Um, if you decide to pick up any of these dice from Scrap Diva, I would appreciate it if you use my referral link, which I'll have listed below. I'll also have the links to these products and this shop, and then I'll also list my discount code. Be sure to use it if you decide to purchase. It'll save you 10%. My discount code is Polka10. It's P-O-L-K-A-10. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will be back soon with more projects. Bye.